Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel Life Science with KMD. Today I am going to explain about evidences from comparative physiology and biochemistry. First is protoplasm chemistry. Biochemical analysis of living matter in the protoplasm which is considered as physical basis of life suggests that protoplasm from a variety of sources that is bacteria, blue green algae, plant and animal has the same biochemical constitution. It mainly consists of substance like protein, lipid, carbohydrate, water etc. This would suggest that during evolution most fundamental property of living things has remained intact while variation in certain essential respect produce the variability according to the need of different forms. Chromosome chemistry. Like protoplasm, another remarkable similarity at the biochemical level is found in the chemistry of chromosome. The chromosomes of all living organism basically consists of nucleic acid, it may be DNA or RNA and a protein it could be histone or protamine and protamines. The molecules of these chemical substance remain arranged in all chromosome in an almost identical fashion. Such a uniformity in the composition of chromosome again suggests a common origin of most living beings. Next is enzyme similarities. A large number of animals and plants contain identical enzymes. Several enzymes found in the digestive tract are common in variety of animals. Example is trypsin and amylase are found from sponges to mammals. A number of enzymes used in photosynthesis are common in variety of green plants. Such common enzymes and consequently a common mechanism of process of photosynthesis suggest a common ancestry of green plants. Next is hormonal similarities. Like enzymes, hormonal similarities are also found in all vertebrates. Example, thyroid hormone is commonly found in all vertebrates and this hormone from one class of organism can be substituted to that in another class of organisms. For example, in frog, deficiency of thyroid hormone can be corrected by feeding them on mammalian thyroid tissue. Another commonly occurring hormone of vertebrate is melanopore expanding hormone. It is concerned with pigmentation of skin to expand, thus rendering the skin color dark. This hormone is found in amphibians and mammals. In the later, it is a vestigial hormone, but if it is grafted into amphibian skin, the skin pigmentation expands. The process of this hormone in this hormones in vertebrates is understandable only on the basis of descent from an ancestor to whom these hormones were useful. Coming to the comparative serology, when foreign protein is inoculated into the blood of an animal, the later produce a complex protein compound against the foreign protein inoculated. This compound are familiarly known as antibodies and the foreign inoculated protein is known as antigen. When a reaction occur between antibody and antigen, a soft white precipitate will be formed. The strength of the precipitate depends upon the concentration of antigen. The precipitate is the precipitin and the test is precipitation test. One of the remarkable feature of this test is that the antibody formed against one antigen can also react with antigen of other source provided the latter is chemically similar to the first antigen. Antibodies containing serum is known as antiserum. Antiserum of antigen of one animal can be tested with antigen of another in order to show their relationship. The test can be interpreted that if precipitate result with more dilution against or uh, diluted antigen of one animal against the test animal, then the former is more closely related to later. 
that means the anti serum of antigen of one animal can be tested with antigen of another animal in order to show their relationship the test can be interpreted that if the precipitate result with more diluted antigen of one animal against the test animal then the former is more closely related to the later if precipitate result with less diluted antigen of that animal then this uh, then it is uh, distantly related to the test animal such precipitating test have been conducted to resolve the disputed relationship of organism in recent year of score of example uh, of scores of examples here we give two illustration till recently it is believed that the whales have relationship with fishes it is because almost all of their anatomy are so strongly modified to aquatic fish like life one only few anatomical clues to show their relationship to other mammals remained however comparative serology of whale with other mammals mammalian group indicate that their serum protein are most like those of the even toed wolfed mammal this might suggest that whales sprang from primitive artiodactyl stock the same serological test when performed in slightly modified form among the members of primates man an arthropod ape and old world monkey a lemur the amount of precipitate of serum protein would decrease in descending order that is the arthropod ape is more closely related to man than other organism even among arthropod primates test done according to ortelony technique reveal that the serum protein of chimpanzee are more alike to man's serum protein than the serum protein of asiatic apes gorilla and baboon similar comparative serological test reveal the uh, reveal the fact that cats dog and bears are closely related cows sheep goats deer and antelopes constitute another closely related groups in terms of blood relations <clears throat> serological test also suggest that there is an close relationship among the modern birds than among the mammals for all of the several hundred species of birds tested give strong and immediate reaction with the serum containing antibody for chicken serum from other test it was concluded that birds are more closely related to crocodile lines of reptiles than to the snakes lizard line which corroborate the paleontological evidence now this is a picture which uh, explain about the principles of precipitant test applied to investigate um, investigation of animal relationship whenever a human serum is injected to the rabbit serum now this rabbit will produce an antibody against it now this antibody will be added to human serum chimpanzee serum baboon serum and dog serum how it will be the relationship between relationship between these animals will be analyzed using precipitant test amino acid sequence analysis molecular biological investigation of sequence of amino acids in alpha and beta chain of hemoglobin from different species have revealed great similarities and specific differences the pattern of which demonstrate the order in which the underlying mutation the change in nucleotide base pair must have occurred in evolution the evolutionary relationships inferred from these studies agree completely with those based on morphological studies analysis of amino acid sequence in the protein portion of the cytochrome enzyme provide further concurring evolutionary relationship further the pattern and rate 
uh, and rates of reaction of lactate dehydrogenase and certain other enzymes with the normal pyridines nucleotide coenzyme and with analog of NAD can be used to demonstrate evolutionary relationship. Coming to the excretory product analysis, an analysis of urinary waste of different species provides the evidence of evolutionary relationship. The kind of nitrogenous excretory waste depend upon the particular kind of enzymes present and the enzymes are determined by genes which have been selected in the course of evolution. The waste products of metabolism of purine, adenine, guanine and excreted um, are excreted by man. Another primates, other primates has uric acid by other mammals as allantoin, by amphibians and most fishes as urea and by most vertebrates as ammonia. Vertebrate evolution has been marked by successive loss of enzymes for the stepwise degradation of uric acid. J. Nimdam made an interesting observation that chick embryo in the early stage of development excrete ammonia, later it excrete urea and finally excrete uric acid. Enzymes urease which, is catal which catalyze the first step in the degradation of uric acid is present in the early chick early chick embryo but disappear in the later stage of development in adult frog excretes the adult frog excrete urea but its tadpole larva excretes ammonia this biochemical examples are the reputation of um, reputation of the principles of recapitulation Next is phosphogens. The phosphogens play a key role in muscle contraction and are the source of energy for resynthesis of ATP. Once they are broken down in the muscle of most vertebrates, phosphogens is always produced a specific compound called creatine phosphate. While in most vertebrates, it is arginine phosphate, whereas in case of uh, hemichordate, the most primitive chordate, have both phosphogens and uh, both phosphogens the creatine phosphate as well as a arginine phosphate such a situation is found in echinoderms and on morphological grounds echinoderms have been considered close to the ancestor of chordates usually all cells obtain energy from processing glucose in glycolysis in most organisms, oxygen can be used as electron acceptor in the breakdown of pyruvic acid to carbon dioxide and water. Coming to the last session, which is a sum up for evidence from comparative physiology and biochemistry. What we learn through this lecture is that there will be a similarities in protein, RNA and DNA molecules of organism which are of uh, same species or same genera and there is more closely related organisms are the more similar in biochemical makeup which indicate common ancestors universality of genetic code it supports the evolution similar chemistry and structure of chromosomes among eukaryotes are observed even when it comes to the plant, chlorophyll is the same basic molecule in all photosynthetic organisms. Even the enzymes which are involved in photosystem 1 or even photosystem 2 in the photosynthesis process are same in case of both algae as well as in case of uh, like in case of uh, higher plant like for example angiosperms maybe in case of uh, algae if it is a red or brown algae that variation will be there but if you take the pteridophytes or uh, angiosperms it will be the same even in case of gymnosperms also so these are the evidences which 
comparatively uh, i mean uh, which give the evidences for physiology and biochemistry this is the important topic in csir as well as um, um, icmr jrf exam and uh, it will be repeatedly asked in both kpsc assistant professor uh, post also in my channel there are so many videos like on um, uh, question paper solved on kpsc exam general uh, exam or general paper or even uh, zoology exa exam exam uh, which has been conducted in uh, 2016 for uh, assistant professor so you can go through those or even you can see certain um, videos on uh, um important topics which are uh, come which will be repeatedly asked in csir exam those things also you can uh, go through in the playlist of uh, my channel and uh, if you want any information regarding health either it could be the uh, your brain health or uh, body or even um, uh, mentally how fit has to be a person or even to the uh, exercise what type of exercise is uh, required to lose weight all these regarding these things and even uh, hair loss all this topic on all this topic i have a videos so you can go through on them most of the videos i mean most of the videos will be on um, plant uh, based on um, i mean botany related topic so i will try to do more uh, videos on that i hope this video will be helpful to you thank you thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you